All right. Now, good morning. Now, you and I have been seeing each other for now. How long now? Like two years about. And you presented how long uh, with belly pain, right? Right. So I had toxic megacolon level of ulcerative colitis. I was diagnosed about four and a half years ago. I had several long hospitalizations. Two and a half years ago, I got a total proctocolectomy. So I got my whole large intestine removed. Mm. So in theory, that surgically, that was supposed to be a cure. But even post-op, I had the same level of high level chronic pain that I did before. So even though they quote gave you a surgical fix, right. you still had pain and then they placed you on pain medications, a yeah. lot of it. Mm -hmm. And before my surgery and after my surgery, I went home on a PCA, I did IV, Dilaudid, I did Oxycontin, Oxycodone, a lot of um, narcotics. So when you saw me with first thing we did was kind of buff up and kind of take away the opiates. Yeah. Then how'd that work out for you? <laughs> that was no joke, the best day of my life. Before that time I had gone through withdrawal like four times on my own and by the time I came and saw you I was on fentanyl patches after my second surgery and I couldn't get off of them and I just remember sitting here and sobbing the entire appointment because no one else could help me and then one day you put me on a cocktail of things and I was off of them um, so ever since then, haven't looked back. looked back so now we've kind of been dealing with chronic still the belly pain even mm -hmm. with the appropriate medications and right. we did a thing called spinal cord stimulation for you mm -hmm. how was that for you um it was great comparatively i mean pain has ruled my entire life for the past even post-surgically two and a half years and i'm in bed every night by seven o'clock because i'm in so much pain i have no life i go to work and even now I just quit my job because my chronic pain was so bad um, from the stress. And so this, I did the spinal stim trial device for the past five days and um, it worked great. I was pretty hesitant at first because I don't really like to think things through and I thought this was kind of a serious procedure, I don't know. So I put it off for eight months mm -hmm. and I wish I hadn't. Um, for the past four days, my base level of pain that I always experience has not been there. So it's gone which is awesome. it, it's gone. You know, I don't know how that'll go moving forward, but for me, it's huge. It totally helps. And I'm excited to do this permanent. So when someone is looking at this video, what would you just give them suggestions? What would you tell them to do? For if they've had chronic pain, you know, that to give up hope or what, what should they be doing? Yeah. I mean, I've given up hope a lot. And I remember like, I think six months ago when I came back to see you, you kind of yelled at me for not seeing you more frequently because you said I could have helped you. But after so long, I just thought that this is how I'm going to live for the next, you know, 50 mm -hmm. years. Mm -hmm. But um, I would say don't give up hope. There are always more options. And at least for Dr. Dombrowski, I, I've put all of my faith in you, <laughs> like more than all my other doctors combined. So don't give up hope. Oh, thank you. That thank you. Awesome. <laughs> I'm sure the patients will appreciate that. Thank okay. you.